Well, hey there, everybody. Good day. This is Joe, and uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about silk ribbons versus nylon ribbons. This whole thing started earlier this year, maybe around April of 2018, at the last uh, ABQ typewriter gathering. A good friend of mine, David, had gifted me this Royal Quiet Deluxe typewriter, which I've subsequently named Adobe Rose for the color. And we have, of course, the Howling Coyote. What also happened with this typewriter is it's always been a great performing machine. It's always had a nice, pretty dark imprint. But I was recently, well, a few months ago, given a new old stock silk ribbon, red black silk ribbon, which is currently in the machine. And I've been using that silk ribbon with this typewriter. And one of the things I've noted is it has a really dark imprint. And I've usually attributed to this when I talk to people about it. I've told them, oh, this is because of the silk ribbon, but it might also be because maybe it's this particular typewriter just is aligned better to have a darker imprint, who knows? Well, recently I was made aware of the fact that the Ribbons Unlimited company sells brand new silk ribbons. And I picked up a couple of those. And I decided what I need is to maybe do a slightly, very slightly scientific or at least structured testing on new silk ribbons versus old, new old stock silk ribbons versus the Royal Quiet Deluxe versus some of my portable typewriters and see is it really the silk ribbons? Are there any good? Is it really this typewriter versus the portables? So stay tuned. We'll see what we come up with. I don't even know the results myself yet. Well, that top paragraph, which is the opening uh, paragraph to On the Road, was typed with the uh, Royal Quiet Deluxe with the new old stock silk ribbon. And then the paragraph right below it, below the red On the Road, title is typed with a nylon ribbon on my brother made Webster blue typewriter. And you can see there's definitely a difference in imprint darkness between those two combinations of typewriter and ribbons. And that's one of the things that makes it obvious to me concerning the Royal Quiet Deluxe is just how much nicer the imprint has always been with this ribbon. Okay, now let's swap typewriters, shall we? And let's look at the test I did before and after replacing the ribbon in the blue Webster typewriter with a silk ribbon. So the old nylon ribbon that was in this Brother typewriter was fairly new, only a few months old. And you can see on the top here is the old nylon ribbon. And then this is the new silk ribbon from Ribbons Unlimited. And there is a subtle but <coughs> noticeable difference in imprint in darkness with the silk ribbon. It's not dramatic like it would be between this typewriter and let's say the Royal Quiet Deluxe, but I do notice a difference. And then the subsequent typing down below <clears throat> was done, of course, with the new silk ribbon. And what I notice is the imprint is consistently better. In other words, with the old nylon ribbon, if you didn't quite hit the letter quite hard enough, it would be a little, it would be noticeably fainter, like the C here of pack. Whereas you have less of that problem of inconsistency between letters with the silk ribbon. It just seems to be more consistently dark all the time. Now what we have here are two samples of typing from the Blue Webster typewriter. The one on your left is with the older nylon ribbon. The one on the right is with the new Ribbons Unlimited silk ribbon. Both of these are using old lined uh, writing paper not quite the same darkness of paper. One of them is a little bit darker, more yellowish than the other. But I think you might be able to tell there is a subtle difference in imprint with the silk ribbon being, I think, slightly darker and more consistently darker than the nylon ribbon on the left. And here is yet another comparison. Again, the nylon ribbon on the left on old lined writing paper and the new silk ribbon on to uh, like printer paper, white unlined printer paper. Now the printer paper on the right is a little brighter, obviously brighter paper, so that may give a false impression of a better contrast on the letters. So I think my initial impressions uh, using this new silk ribbon in the Webster 747 typewriter is it makes a subtle but 
noticeable difference in print quality. So I can't say the results are dramatic like the difference between this typewriter and the Royal Quiet Deluxe, for instance, but there is a subtle difference. Whether or not that's worth the cost difference of the ribbon, these are about 14, 13 or $14 plus shipping. That's kind of your choice to decide there. But let's go ahead and look at the difference between a nylon ribbon and a new, the new silk ribbon in the Royal Mercury. Okay, here is the, uh, the second Royal Mercury in my collection. <laughs> the older one, technically, but the newer one to me. And uh, so I did a ribbon swap on this machine yesterday. I test typed onto some old grocery store receipt paper that I have purposefully coffee stained. That was just another project that I was doing. Okay, so let's just look at this here. So the top part right here is the older nylon ribbon, which was a almost essentially brand new nylon ribbon. And then right here is begins the uh, typing with the new Ribbons Unlimited silk ribbon. And at least typing on this thin cash register paper, uh, yeah, there is a difference in imprint, I think. And again, it's not only being the difference being subtly darker, but I think there's a more consistent line. You notice on the nylon ribbon, a lot of times the parts of the letters are inconsistent, light to dark, like right here, where it seems like it's just more consistently dark on the, across the entire letters. You have less letters that have partial shading. So it's not just a subtly darker imprint, but a better imprint, more consistent. Now, part of the problem of doing these kinds of tests is a lot of it depends on the kind of paper you're, you're writing on. So an example here is the front sheet is the new silk ribbon onto thermal cash register paper, which doesn't make a great imprint. Behind it is older uh, lined <coughs> writing paper with the old nylon ribbon in it. <clears throat> that appears to be a better imprint than this, but that's mainly because of the, the grade of paper. This lined writing paper just absorbs ink better. So when you're doing these comparison tests between uh, ribbons, you really need to make sure you're comparing them on equal or equivalent kinds of paper as well. So in order to make this test more valid, I really need to do some more writing with the new silk ribbon onto this equivalent kind of paper. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this typing that I typed up in uh, the mountains of northern New Mexico a day or two ago, a couple of days ago, and I'm going to retype part of it onto this the equivalent kind of old lined writing paper using the new silk ribbon. Okay, so I typed up part of the first sentence, paragraph, and let's see if we can make a comparison here. Put a white backing paper behind them so they're both evenly illuminated. Okay, so uh, the one on your left is the nylon ribbon, essentially a new nylon ribbon. The one on the right is the new silk ribbon, and they're both using the same kind of aged lined writing paper and I think it's pretty clear that the uh, silk ribbon is darker and more consistent imprint on this particular mercury typewriter yeah it's a really nice imprint in fact so I think thus far in this little experiment or comparison between nylon ribbons and silk ribbons the new silk ribbon from ribbons unlimited I think it's fair to say that for at least these two ultra portable machines, there is a subtle but noticeable improvement in the imprint using the new silk ribbon over a new nylon ribbon. But it really doesn't explain why the Royal Quiet Deluxe has such a darker, more beautiful imprint. And it's probably a combination of the fact that it's using new old stock silk ribbon along with the fact that that machine might have a superior imprint. And so in order to test that out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap ribbons <laughs> uh, in that machine and do some test typing and see what we get. Okay, so to do this test with the Royal Mercury, I'm going to first retype the first paragraph or first sentence of On the Road. Uh, instead of on cash register paper, I'm, I'm going to use the old writing, lined writing paper. I'll just use the back of the this test I did with the Royal Mercury. I'm going to just use the other side of it. So let me get it threaded in there and we'll go and make sure you don't knock over your howling coyote because he doesn't like that. 
Okay, so I've typed that first paragraph on the uh, Royal QDL with the new old stock ribbon. Now I'm going to swap ribbons. I'm going to do a ribbon transplant using the ribbons unlimited silk ribbon, and I'm going to type it on the QDL and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, here's the new ribbon from Ribbons Unlimited. That's going to go into the medium-sized Royal Quiet Deluxe. Okay, so now here is the, the nylon ribbon, fairly new one that I was using in the Webster XL747 before I put the silk ribbon in. So I'm going to put it on a spool here and put it in there in this uh, Quiet Deluxe and see what we get. Well, it is very interesting. Let's look at the results, shall we? Okay, the top paragraph is with the new old stock silk ribbon from decades ago. The middle paragraph is the brand new Ribbons Unlimited silk ribbon. Comparing those two, I think the new old stock silk ribbon is darker compared to this brand new silk ribbon, but they're both pretty good. And then the third paragraph is a used but fairly new nylon ribbon. And I think there is a dramatic difference between the nylon ribbon and both silk ribbons in this Royal Quiet Deluxe. But you can see, apparently, that this Royal Quiet Deluxe really loves the new old stock ribbon. It's just really nice and dark. But the new not a silk ribbon is pretty darn good also. Well, I've been wanting to do this kind of a test for a long time, and I thought it was a good opportunity now that I was able to acquire these new silk ribbons from Ribbons Unlimited, which, by the way, are not sponsoring this video. I paid for these myself. These are about $13 plus shipping, $12.99, I believe, plus shipping. Okay, conclusions, thoughts. Um, it looks to me, at least from the Royal Quiet Deluxe test that I did, that the difference between a nylon ribbon and either of the silk ribbons is fairly dramatic. The difference between the new old stock and the new silk ribbon might be due to, who knows, ink formulations between the old type of ribbons versus the newer ones. Maybe there are some secrets about silk ribbon typewriter inks that have been lost to, uh, or maybe they were proprietary to certain manufacturers and those are no longer available. But anyways, there still is apparently a difference between them. Now the question I think we have to ask is, is it worth for you or for me to invest in silk ribbons? That's a really great question. So initially, if you're kind of a, a penny pincher, if you're the kind of a person who thinks I'd never pay over $20 for a used typewriter, you might be having unrealistic expectations because the reality is the market's changed and used typewriters go for a lot more than that. And also the reality is silk ribbons are more expensive than nylon ribbons. And I don't know of another manufacturer currently offering silk ribbons. There might be, and I'd really love to know. And if you know of that, leave a comment down below. But a new nylon ribbon ordered from a place like Amazon, one of the sellers on Amazon, for instance, it could be eight or nine or ten dollars a ribbon. Sometimes you see a two pack for twelve or whatever. So they're roughly six to seven to eight dollars for a nylon ribbon, maybe a few dollars higher. Whereas a silk ribbon is about thirteen dollars plus shipping, and I couldn't find a Amazon Prime deal on these ribbons, so you do have to pay for shipping, which in my case in the United States was about four dollars, I'd say approximately. So if you do invest in silk ribbons, I would uh, buy maybe at least a half a dozen of them, right? So you can spread the shipping cost, uh, you know, across more of the ribbons. But the real question is, is it really worth putting $13 plus, let's say $15 on average for a ribbon? That seems awful expensive, Joe. And that might be true. It is more expensive than a nylon ribbon. But I think the real issue comes down to how much money did you invest in actual dollars or euros or whatever, and how much time have you invested in learning and in learning t about typewriters and learning to service them yourself, researching typewriters, uh, the whole social media around typewriters, all of the investment you have put in your life to typewriters, how much is it worth to upgrade the performance of your machine? I think the results are pretty uh, 
hard to argue with that you can get a better typing experience at least I've seen with a silk ribbon even on my little portable ultra portable typewriters I notice a difference in imprint now this typewriter the Royal Quiet Deluxe has a great touch you don't have to hit the keys all that hard to get a really dark imprint as you see here with a silk ribbon those ultra portable typewriters they're intrinsically built to require a harder a harder touch they just are that way but I would say the silk ribbon at least the new ribbons unlimited silk ribbon in both of those portable typewriters the Royal Mercury and the Webster XL 747 it appears like I don't have to bang on the keys quite as hard and I get a more consistent imprint I don't have as much of that problem with these silk ribbons on the ultra portable so it seems like the whole typing experience is just a little bit better considering all the money I've put into typewriters and all the time I put into typewriters maybe this is an imperfect analogy but it's kind of like buying a classic car or a really nice car and focusing intently on the automobile and then putting cheap gasoline in the car or cheap motor oil to save a few bucks. I think if you go to the trouble of collecting typewriters, maybe you should throw a silk ribbon in there. I would advise you guys, consider getting some silk ribbons. Try them out in your machines. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. Is it really worth the extra money? Does it give it a whole new typing experience? I'd really like to know for you guys. What is your experience like with new silk ribbons in your machine? Well, that's it today. Silk ribbon shootout. Until next time, stay creative and have yourselves a great day.